Moira by your side. Aggression is no substitute for ability. Reckon that's true. Good thing I have both. Hey there, Moira. How have you been? Busier than you, I'd assume. <laughs> I missed you too. You look great, by the way. Same saccharine tongue. Same empty head. I have yet to see a report on your latest experiment. It's making progress. Our timeline is non-negotiable. Keep interrupting me. Surely that'll expedite things. This foolish mission is taking time away from my experiments, Akande. Think of it as... fieldwork. Dr. Liao was not fond of you. Was she any fonder of you? Of course. I was her life's work. It seemed to me she was far more taken with your predecessor. I could have rebuilt you without all that metal. And left me a monster. Like other creations? That is a matter of perspective. I'd rather wait a century for progress than cause the harm you have. What a joy it must be to feel entitled to patience. So, sweet Edina has grown into a domineering beast. My name is Orisa. You would be wise to remember it. Is there nothing you can do for this pain? Think of it as fuel beneath the flames of your vengeance. <sighs> Don't die on me now. You're one of my finest experiments. Flattery will get you the grave. Moira! I should crush you like a bug for what you've done! Did you know that certain centipedes kill prey 15 times their size? What are you saying? I'm advising my prey not to test me. In the field, Doctor? Testing a hypothesis, perhaps? With the rate at which our colleagues get injured, I expect I'll be testing my patients. If the universe is a simulation, why aren't there more elephant seals? It thrills me to put aside my preparations and humor your brilliant inquiries, Doctor. It thrills me. Kind words. Thank you. You've been rather quiet today, Doctor. I've gotten a lot done. Can a fish that never sees the surface know it's underwater? Uh, there it goes. Can one know that one knows nothing? It thrills me to put aside my preparations and humor your brilliant inquiries, Doctor. It thrills me. Kind words. Thank you. Have you enjoyed your time away with the fairies, Dr. de Cowper? They do make lovely conversation. If you know what you're looking for, inquiry is unnecessary. But if you don't know, how do you inquire? <sighs> Somehow even more tiresome than the chicken and the egg. You've been rather quiet today, Doctor. I've gotten a lot done. Someone must build a particle collider around the sun. Ugh, there it goes. Can a single grain of sand differentiate between heap and not heap? It thrills me to put aside my preparations and humor your brilliant inquiries, Doctor. It thrills me. Kind words. Thank you. You've been rather quiet today, Doctor. I've gotten a lot done. I wonder if frogs dream of ponds. Ugh, there it goes. You ever broken patient confidentiality? I can't say. You're good. What are you up to, Moira? Wouldn't you like to know? Fine. I'll hack you later. You stopping in to see Max? I love how you make him squirm. Mm, it's amusing. I don't even experiment on Omnix. Yet. <laughs> Yet. These carpal tunnels slowing down my WPM. I can fix it. And more. Uh, how about just taping it up? Offers on the table. You and Hefe need to stop frying Sigma's brain. I'm trying to help your little friend. <laughs> and yourself. Yes, let's discuss morality. 
and hypocrisy while we're at it. Our foes make such a nuisance of themselves. Is that an emotion I detect, Lacroix? You've been distant lately, Lacroix. By your design. Pondering anything unusual? Dangerous? No. Never. Anyone want to hear my favorite joke about the periodic table? Nah. <laughs> You're the one making abominations. Hmm. As the strongest woman in the world, you must see merit in pushing humanity's limits. All I see is a fool, mistaking a strong body for a gullible mind. You have an intense gaze, Doctor. I'm thinking on how best to utilize you. In the coming battle, you mean? Perhaps. You have an intense gaze, Doctor. I'm thinking on how best to utilize you. In the coming battle, you mean? Perhaps. I've read about the genetic therapy they put you through. It sounds unpleasant. It was. But ignorance was worse. Don't bother. Reason is lost on her. <sighs> what a nauseating bout of deja vu. Yep. Working with you has always made me sick. Are you planning to whine the whole time? Again? <sighs> Try using your head along with your fists. Swift as the wind, and dim as the night. What have you become? There is but one cure for madness. It is often one's mouth breaks her nose. Quiet, chatterbox. <laughs> Au revoir, ma chérie. <laughs> the milk of human kindness has spoiled. <laughs> All experiments must come to an end. The specimen has been disposed of. Ah! <laughs> Mind your hypocrisy, Doctor. Ah! About time you were of use. This was the only plausible outcome. Unbelievable.